Yeah. Wow. That was nice. All right, now let's, you big time, Matt. Let's go to the uh, Jazz. Well, you just got a free Chipotle for a year. Man. I go that cyborg right there, America. Oh, why, why are you fronting him in that situation? Hot start to this game for the Clippers, who led 30 to 13 after one quarter. Everybody's been calling them out, especially Paul George. They needed this game. They needed this win. So Kawhi had a 31-point oh. night. PG had 31. That's good right there. Play all P is back, Kenny. Ah. Mm. This is going to be a dynamite series. Yeah, I, you know, because it's a, it is a different team in Utah. You know, they they. But I'll tell you what, they need that Mike. Con oh. oh, oh! Signature yeah, play of the night. Oh, did from Kawhi. Did Kawhi actually. Oh yes, he did. No, he looked at the ball. Okay. Right. Kawhi's a classy guy. Yeah. He's not like me and Chuck. Uh, man, that is impressive. Oh. And let me ever. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, no, you 68 44 at the half. Tell you what, I told you, man, without Mike Conley, it's too much work for Donovan Mitchell. On the road. Well, those other guys got to play better on Ingles the road. stepping back. He, he played had, better at home. He had 19. Oh, give, give me, me that. that. Get that out of here. Got to dunk that, bitch. Oh. Nice move. Damn. Kawhi, mid-range, and then. He's not Chris Paul on the mid-range, but he's pretty damn good. Yes, he's not bad. Oh, Zubat's up top. I like Zubat. He plays his role to a T. Oh, and George again. Much. So the uh, Clippers take it 118 to 104. Uh, Kawhi and PG, second straight game now that they've both uh, gone for 30. And have never done that back to back until this playoff. They've series. never done that. No, as teammates, no. And, not, so in the regular season, the they night. did. Yeah. One is usually on and not the other. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Yeah. So they win it by 14. Donovan Mitchell, by the way, 37. He's got six straight games of at least 30, which ties Carl Malone for the playoff franchise record with the. Uh, yeah, he took. He, he had to take a lot of shots, though. Yeah, he, he, he was nine for 26, and he shot uh, 15. Uh, Free throws. 16 free throws. So that means that you know, that, that means he, he took, took like over eight shot. I mean, yeah, that mean, that's too many shots for one guy. Yeah, they probably work. 36 yeah. shots. That's why they need Connolly back. Yeah. Let's hear from Quinn Snyder. Yeah. We were playing hard. We, we were we were competing. We just we, we weren't playing. Um, I say we weren't playing smart, and that we um, we weren't connected. And. You know, I th that that showed with you know with the 13 point first quarter that um, you know, we, we were trying to attack, but you know we, we weren't attacking as much. Uh, we weren't putting ourselves in situations where you know we could have success. And I, I think you know again the, the, the defense can can cover up for that to an extent um, and allow you to you know to, to sputter a little bit offensively, but. You know, in this case, we were we were giving up baskets too, and, and suddenly, you know, you've got a big deficit. You know, I, 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 I like the fact that we continue to compete. You know, I, I think there's, you know, obviously, you know, you, you don't want to take a loss like this, but um, you know, there's game five, and to the extent that. You know, we have to take some things that, that we did do well as the game progressed and, and try to replicate them. Um, and then look at things like, you know, giving a team 38 free throws, um, you know, and the discipline that we have in that situation and, and making sure we're getting back and, and not giving up offensive rebounds because it's hard to overcome those things. You, know, you almost have to be perfect on the other end, and we, we weren't that either. Is there ever anything to, hey, look, the way we finished the game makes us feel a little better about a terrible night here going into game five? I, uh, I think I think it's always when you're beating a team, yes, yes. The answer to that question is yes. But, you know, Underdog gave me a stat. They've had less than 20 assists in every game. But the big difference is with, when, with Donovan Mitchell, who's a terrific player, he gets – 
his numbers. He's not getting the other guys involved. That's the big difference when he's playing. Get, and it works in Utah because if those guys play better, but on the road, you're going to have to have some more help. You can't have him shooting that many shots. I mean, he didn't shoot a great percentage. But if he's going to be a ball stopper, that's the difference between a guy who makes the guys around him better and a guy who's just a great player who gets his numbers. 11, you, 11 right? bench points for the for the Jazz, four out of 22 they shot. Go ahead. But when you have home court advantage, you always have that safety blanket. You always say, okay, we have home court advantage. Game five is at the crib. We need to win this game and then come back and steal a game in a row. But it, it's the same thing happened in game six. We have home court advantage, and we know how well we play at home. So, you know, you always have that safety blanket when you have home court advantage. I don't, I don't even think it's a knock to say that he's not a facilitator that Mike Conley is. Like, there's not a knock. No, there's not a knock. No. Like some, some people hear that and go, well, you're knocking Donovan. No, it's not a knock because, you know, point guards are, are born. They're not made. Like, they, the guys are made to be point guards. Mike Conley's made to be a point. He was born to be a point guard. He understands the dynamic of getting everyone involved because he's done it his whole life. Donovan Mitchell has been the guy who said, finish plays for us. Make sure that we get... 80 points when we're in college. Make sure we get 100 when we're in the pros. He's that guy. So you couldn't ask Mike Conley to come in and say, now get 30. You know, it's just, you know, different roles. And one is, right now, is valuable on the road. On the road, Mike Conley's role is much more valuable than, than honestly, Donovan Mitchell's role. Because those other guys, as Chuck said, are depending on that, that, that fuel. And so... Yeah, that's – it's not a knock that that's not your role. And Is he's he great coming back, Mike Conley? Well, I think he – well, I don't know. But I think they were um, – if they were saving him, I wouldn't have played him in L.A. Yeah. up two zip. I think if he plays, he'll play the next game. That's just me. Because uh, if I'm up two zip and I got – that's a safety blanket. That gives him an extra four or five days off. So I think if he's going to play – I'll know more after the next game, Shaq. Because if he don't play, it's 2-2 two -two now. Now we're starting to get really uh, in a serious situation. So we, I think we'll know a lot more after the next game. Jazz averaged 24 assists in the regular season, 24 a game, 23 a game against Memphis in the first round. And again, they have struggled big time uh, in that department in this series. Meantime, the Clippers, Kenny, hold on to the music for one second, if you would, guys, because we haven't given, haven't given the Clippers much of their due. We've talked a lot about Utah, but this is a team that looks pretty scary right now. They look great. Yeah. They look great. You know, uh, the, the one thing, you know, we didn't even know that stat. You said it earlier, great stat. You know, I said the other night, I'm like, I really haven't seen both of those guys play well together. And this is the second time only that they've been, that, that since they've been together, both have had back-to-back -back games over 30 together. So the question, you know, they're, they're playing great. Let's not even they take anything away. But the question is, I haven't seen them play great when it's a seven-point or less win. Like, in a three, both of those guys playing great with seven or less. Like, we need both of you. This is one of them games. And that's what's going to be in Utah, waiting on them. It's yeah. gonna, that game is going to be seven points or less. And just you just like play the well. first two were. They won yeah. by three, seven. they won by six. Yeah, now, can I add one thing, Ernie? Yeah. I just want to give a shout-out to Major League Baseball. Uh, I saw y'all new thing where <laughs> if y'all catch pitchers cheating, you're going to uh, suspend them from 10 days with pay. Way to stick it to those cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> and they get a private jet, right? <laughs> Ooh, I mean, that's, that is some harsh damn punishment. <laughs> what is it, 10, eight, ten? Ten, 10 days? They go get suspended 10 days with pay. That's going to make him not want to cheat. Uh, <laughs> loses his wallet at the in and out yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with In-N-Out joke? Burger. Oh, no, those are those are. In-N-Out yeah. Burger ain't no joke. Check yeah. it, check it, Chipotle. Oh, hey, don't joke around about I like this. I love Chipotle. But, hey, In-N-Out ain't no joke, brother. Yeah, I, I want you to lose your ass at Wolfgang Parks, too. <laughs> <laughs>